class diagrams uh, come from the unified modeling language, and we were always already looking at points and rectangles. So let's look at some uh, diagrams of these two uh, classes here. There are other methods in point that we just saw, but this is just some of them right here. You got an x and a y coordinate, and then you, you have a constructor here and a two string method. There was plenty of other methods as well. And rectangle, you got the name of the class. These are the fields right here, the values you can change. Uh, and then here's the constructor, two string. We didn't use grow, but uh, well, we also didn't use translate, but it's there. We, we wrote our own move uh, method, but this is a simplified or scaled back uh, representation of a rectangle using universal modeling or unified modeling language. This tells you all the public um, attributes with a plus, and sometimes you'll see the private attributes as well. And why would you make some private? Well, you'll see soon enough, but basically there may be some things you want to do um, to make something happen, but you don't want uh, to mess up some of those values. So, so far, our points and rectangles are pretty simple. You can't really mess anything inside of those up. Um, I guess you may not want to let your width go negative and height go negative, but maybe you do.